Hi guys, welcome to Nalaisi Technologies. This is Subbaraju. In this video session, we can view JavaScript conditional control statements. What is the meaning of conditional control? I made very clearly definition here. Different actions for different decisions. This is simple and easy to understand. Whatever the action we need to perform, if true or if false, whatever the action we need to perform. So, that is called a condition. If if else, else if and switch like this several conditional controls existed. For example, if you take the if statement, use this statement to execute some code, only a specified condition is true. If you come to else, use this statement to execute some code. If condition is true, true block. If false, else block. If and else if, the meaning is multi-level blocks existed here. Use this statement to select one of many blocks code to be. One block executing among many blocks. Switch, it is also another conditional control and many blocks of code, it is selecting any one block of code. But maybe these are looking like same, but there is a difference available. Practically, we can see that. First, if statement and syntax, you can observe very closer that if condition, true statements. Right, the source code area we can, for example, script, JavaScript environment. I am writing here, for example, where x is equal to, I, I am writing prompt, enter any number. You want it by default number also you can take and for that purpose view the syntax of the prompt. And now, I am providing by default number is 5. So, x is equal to, now if x greater than, for example, 100 I provided, then alert user entered number is plus x. That is all I am not writing body section, does not required. That is a head part. Come to browser, refresh, by default number 5 available. For example, I am entering 101 greater than 100. Then displaying user enter number is 101 because true. Now refresh, 5 only I am giving. Click OK, 5 entered. So false, else part is not there, blank page. Now, come to else environment area. So, else what it is giving the syntax. True means true block, false means else block. Come to else environment. Else alert, very basic programming. Alert user entered number is user entered number is plus. Now, I am giving here B for more understanding, nothing is there. Come back. Yes, for example, I entered 5, I am leaving like that one, otherwise 55, no issue. Greater than or less than, less than, else part will be executed. Small. Now, for example, I am entering this 102, for example, it is a greater than. So, executing big means if equal, what happened? That is a doubt. Else, if will write what is there. So, now we are checking greater or less than. Now, equal to purpose come to else if. Now, for example, if you are coming to else if block, observe the syntax of first else if. If condition 1, else if condition 2, code to be executed and the related blocks. Now, in this syntax, any one block of statements get executed, definitely. Come down, we can view, else if x less than 100, correct. Now, the same else if, I want to take, copy paste x equal to 100, number is equal, else 
alert, invalid input. Right, refresh that. First one, I am entering 101, greater, you know already that, yes. Second, I am entering 100, equal, perfectly observed. Third one, I am entering uh, less, 55, small, means greater, less, equal. For example, I am entering Raju, invalid input. So, perfectly every condition checking and coming out. Now, we can view switch, same, it, it get executes any one block of statements. Then generally, what is the big difference between else if and switch? Switch is predefined structure, that is the reason compared to if switch performance always better, predefined in the sense switch, variable, case, break in between statements. What is the syntax of that? Come to practically we can view. Switch any one block of statements get executed, switch variable, case, break in between the block and default also existed. Same like our C programming language. Now, we can view that practically. For example, now I am giving prompt any course name. By default course, I am selecting HTML5. If course equal to, if course equal to start HTML5, of course, we are not using if, okay, directly switch on, I will show you. Switch, what is that course? Once that existed, now I am writing here case and I am going to show you here HTML5. Once I am going to document dot write selected course is simple I said for example plus course. Now that one closed. Let me remove the remaining part. Course variable, I am reading that case HTML5 document dot write and syntax wise break. Now come back to your browser, refresh. So it is not asking that what is the case you actually selected because syntax wise we need this like this. Every syntactical rule correctly we need to follow. So the colon we need to end last asking for example by default html5 is there if i click you are selected course is html5 for example html javascript i entered for example javascript is not there blank page will be displayed let me write the program now case i am taking next one for example html good and next one for example i am taking js next one angular js Right, after that one default, default, I am, I am writing that document dot write, sorry, selected course not existed, that is all, default level, no colon, nothing required, just I kept. Now refresh, what are the courses displaying, HTML5. Next, JS, next, Angular JS. For example, I entered my name is Plaf. Sorry, selected course not existed. Or, for example, you selected Java. Sorry, means that course I did not keep. Only I kept front end level technologies for five. So, switch is this one. The perfect switch structure you can observe, easy and simple. Now, these are the main conditional control statements 
only basic level it is these conditional controls if you are going to apply in a project to navigate from one web page to another web page i'll show you in next video session thank you for watching my videos for more videos please log on youtube.com/nareshaiti